Good morning, welcome back to the channel. I am beyond excited for today's video. I have a book haul. So it's rough times all around the world and nothing, nothing makes me happier than new books. So to that end, weeks ago, I ordered several books from the UK, um, from the book depository. And uh, then two days ago, I it was a beautiful day and it had been raining and raining for days and days and I'm just cooped up in the house and, and it was a beautiful day and I felt like going out. So I ordered a couple of books off of barnesandnoble.com which is great because you actually I call actually I didn't order from barnesandnoble.com. I called the the local store. Um I use the word local loosely. I don't live near anything, but it's a bit of a drive away. And um it was great. I paid over the phone. Then when you get to the parking lot, you just say I'm here. They bring out your books, they put it on a the table, they go back inside like no human contact and you get your new books. So to that end, I have um, I have a haul. The first two are the two I got at Barnes & Noble, and they're both new releases. I got Sue Monk Kids, The Book of Longings. I loved The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kid. Like, loved it. And I have read quite a few of her books. Um, she's fiction and nonfiction. Uh, this is a work of fiction. Um, just came out. It, Here's the here's a bit of the description from the from the um, cover. In her mesmerizing fourth work of fiction, Sue Monk Kidd takes an audacious approach to history and brings her acclaimed narrative gifts to imagine the story of a young woman named Anna. Raised in a wealthy family with ties to the ruler of Galilee, she is rebellious and ambitious with a brilliant mind and daring spirit. She engages in furtive scholarly pursuits and writes narratives about neglected and silenced women. Anna is expected to marry an older widower, a prospect that horrifies her. An encounter with 18-year-old Jesus changes everything. So this is going to be good. I will probably be reading this very soon. Then the second book, I'm all about mood reading and I, I rarely like to leave my reading comfort zone, but I'm going to with this one. So I got, I can't believe I did it, but I did. Stephen King's If It Bleeds. This is four novellas. I'm sorry, Henry's moving the camera. Oh, Henry, say hi and stop moving the camera. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, so um, four novellas by Stephen King. I figure how bad can it be if it's too horrifying if they're just novellas? So I'll, I'll make it through. I have read two Stephen King books, but neither of them are his you know, typical horror books. I have read his book on writing called On Writing, and I have read his book on the Kennedy assassination and time travel, um, 112263. So this will, and I've wanted to read The Stand. I have it on my Kindle. I've wanted to read it for years and years, um, which I may do during this pandemic because it just seems appropriate. But anyway, if you have read this or this, Leave me a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it, but I'm just, I'm beyond excited, beyond excited about both of those. Okay, then these are the books. They didn't all come yet from the book depository, but I just couldn't wait any longer to, to open these. So it's still five books, although they feel very thin. What I did was I ordered classics that I've never read before. So I'm so excited about all of these. Um, oh, and the reason I ordered from there, I was having, from the UK, I was having trouble finding a place in the States that had the Penguin English Library books. So the first one I got, I've never read, Thomas Hardy, Tess of the D'Urbervilles. Um, look at this. And you know, to be honest, I prefer softbacks, paperbacks to hardbacks. Um, I am not, I am not a delicate reader. I am not precious with my books. I feel like the more bent and marked up and coffee stains on a book, it just proves how much it's loved. Um, I, 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 
I I just I just love to live within a book and I just find soft back so much easier to handle and I throw books in my purse you know I, I um, yeah so all of all of these from um, the uh, Penguin English Library editions are going to be paperback so right the test of the Durvervilles let's see what it says with its sensitive depiction of a wronged pure woman and its powerful criticism of Victorian sexual hypocrisy, Tess of the Durberville shocked readers on publication. And then it goes into a brief description. I'm sure a lot of you have read <laughs> this already. Uh, let's see. Thomas Hardy, he lived 1840 to 1928. So, yes, this will be read very soon. All right, the next one. Oh, how exciting. Ugh, nothing like new books. Nothing. All right. Okay. I've, I've never read any E.M. Forrester that I can think of, and I certainly have not read Howard's End. I love these covers. How precious are these? Um, let's see. This is frequently cited as E.M. Forrester's finest work. Howard's End brilliantly explores class warfare, conflict, and the English character. Okay, so the next one. I have read some of Oscar Wilde, but I have not read The Picture of Dorian Gray. I am beyond, I am beyond happy with all this. The Picture of Dorian Gray is a masterpiece of the evil in men's hearts and is a as controversial and alluring as Wilde himself. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am just loving, these are like so readable. So this is going to be so comfortably, like the physical book is just going to be comfortably um, loved by me. Oh, and here they had a little um, flyer in here with all the different, um, exciting all right next one I, honestly I don't even remember what I ordered it was so long ago um I just remember I hadn't read any of them oh beautiful two of my favorite colors pink and gray Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf I actually thought I had read this I think I had read this. Um, I'm having some flashbacks. That's okay. If I did, I was in my 20s. So like, um, uh, you know, that was a while ago. <laughs> How beautiful is this? It says, Mrs. Dalloway captures the events of one June day in London, moment by moment as different lives collide. Yep, uh, I'm pretty sure I've read this. Wow, this is just a slim little book. It's uh, not even 200 pages. Oh my goodness. I am so happy. <laughs> oh, I wish every day could be like this. <laughs> New books every day. New books for everyone. Oh. Okay, this I definitely have never read. I was supposed to read it when I was in high school. <laughs> and I didn't, uh, not for class. Um, well, it's a long story, but Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I don't think I need to give a <laughs> description of this book. Oh, actually the description's so beautiful. I will read what it writes or what it has. A twisted upside down creation myth. Mary Shelley's chilling Gothic tale lays bare the dark side of science and the horror within us all. So this is five, I think I ordered eight books, so I still have three more coming. I am beyond excited about this. And then, so I have five classics and then two brand new releases, one by a guy who completely terrifies me. You guys, please leave me comments below. Have you read these? What did you think? What are you reading now? I would love to hear all that. I'm going to get this up on my on my channel really soon. I, I can't imagine being in a bad mood today. 
I can't. I'm on such a high right now. And I, I won't know where to start. I, I won't know where to start. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so happy. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. My next video will be my wrap up of my reading from April. I will see you again soon with that video. And until then, everyone take care of yourself and those you love. Stay safe and happy reading.